In this first video, we're going to show you how easy it is to create and serve out an OGC compliant web mapping tile service using the CAD Corp software. This first video will show you how you can set up your ordnance survey data, and then the following video will show you how you can use our web server, Geognosis, to serve the data out. So in this first video, what we want to do is we want to create a stack of ordnance survey data that we can utilize for serving out as a web mapping tile service. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add some of our base mapping. So I'm going to go to my folder and I'm going to add our 50k ECW straight into the map. And what we'll see is that we've got our 50k in there straight away. And we now want to maybe because we're creating a full stack, we now want to maybe zoom in a little bit and add in data from a different data set. So we're going to add in our vector map local. Our vector map local is a, a tiled image data set, and it means that we can add the images in as an index data set, which creates a continuous map base by reading all of the individual tiles. So I'm going to say that we've got our um, tile in this example. The system will say that we can turn the outlines off, which is what we're going to do. And then we're going to look recursively through all the different folders. And because we have national coverage, it's going to load in nearly 10 and a half thousand uh, TIFF files. And when I press finish, the system loads that data in quite easily. And it looks as nice as what you'd what you'd expect. What we can then do is we might want to add our master map data into this WMTS. So the system supports the uh, GZ file format, but because we want national coverage, what I'm going to say is that we want to add an overlay. We want to add this from Ordnance Survey, and we're going to add our master map topography layer. Uh, the data itself is stored in a PostGIS database. And what we can do is we can use our login credentials to go straight into a um a table setup and because we're using the ordnance survey add-in uh, the system knows what it's looking for so it's brought brought back our os master map data and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in our schema 9 feature type so it gives all the latest colors and styles and features that we can see in front of us and when i click finish our master map data now appears and again it's exactly as we would expect our master map data to look like so now that we've done that and on our left hand side, we can see all the three different data sets that we've got in front of us. What we can now do is we can scale threshold these so that when we're using it via a uh, web mapping tile service, we can see all the different layers as we're zooming in at the relevant scales. So on our overlays button, I'm going to say that we want to look at our ordnance survey master map. And in our general tab, we're going to say the maximum scale threshold for this is going to be a 2500. We're going to say that our vector map local is going to go from 2,500 to 25,000. And then finally, our 50K will be a minimum of 25,000. And when we click apply to these buttons and click OK, what you'll see is, is that we can go from our master map to our vector map local and to our 50K. So it creates as a seamless map base. And then the final thing that we need to do before we serve this data out is we need to zoom to the extents of the 50k so that we this is this is going to be our starting point. So I can uh, view the data and I'm going to say, say that I want to zoom to that overlay. And now that we have this, what I can do is we can save this uh, saved window definition, which is a project file. And I'm going to save this in a location that we can go to. So I've got UK. We can save this as a WM in our WMS folder. And I'm going to call this Ordnance Survey WMTS pre-sales. And what we can do is click Save. And it's now saved it. So what we've done effectively in this first video is create our Ordnance Survey stack with the three data sets that we've got in front of us. And in the second video, we're going to show you how we can use Geognosis to serve this data out via a web mapping tile service.